Now, when they did their studies, they didn't know it, but they were stimulating, they were stimulating the axon, and therefore they were manipulating voltage-gated channels. But their experiment is very important to our understanding how all of this comes together. So let me point out, let me bring out some things that we talked about. And so when a neuron is at rest, what electric charge does it register? What, what electric charge would you measure in a, on the inside of a resting neuron? Negative 70. A negative 70 millivolts. Okay, so on this axis, we have voltage represented in units of millivolts, thousands of a volt. And on the bottom axis, is time represented in milliseconds, thousands of a second. So what we said was when low level stimulus was applied, then what would happen is that the inside would become slightly more what? Positive, and then quickly return back to rest of levels. If you increase the strength of the stimulus and stimulated it again, you would get this response. Increase the stimulus, stimulated again, you get this response. Okay? What do we call this type of response that is directly proportional to the strength of the stimulus? What is it called when the response, the electrical response is directly proportional to the strength of the stimulus? What is that? Look it up. Do you have your own work with you? Yes. Okay, try that. By now, you should be familiar with your own work. You know where the least way to look. Is it called sensation? Um, no, that's going to that's going to involve that later on. But it's a, it's a stimulus that's directly proportional. It's a response that's directly proportional to the strength of the stimulus. Okay. okay, so I see you wasted the weekend. <laughs> no, an action potential would be an all or none response as long as the stimulus is strong enough to reach special. Which you want? The temporal? The what kind of? A greater potential is what it's called. Right? When something happens in a graded fashion, that means it happens little by little in grades, different grades, step by step. And so greater potential are electrical changes that could be either in a positive direction or in a negative direction. But it's an electrical change that's directly proportional to the strength of the stimulus. You, in, you increase the strength of the stimulus, you get a more pronounced or a bigger response. Okay? You increase it even more, you get an even bigger response. All right? So what this is saying is if you have a low level stimulus, a slight stimulus, it makes the inside become slightly more positive because if you look at how these numbers run, we're going from being very negative, minus 70, to less and less negative and more and more positive as we go up the curve. Okay. And so what we have is that you stimulate, you get this response. You increase the strength of the stimulus, stimulate again, you get this response. It's a 
little bit greater. Increases the strength, stimulate the response is even greater. This graded step-by-step -step response is what's called a graded response. Later, we're going to find that a graded response can occur in another way. The more of an inhibitory neurotransmitter that's released to onto a cell, inhibitory neurotransmitters will cause the inside to become even more negative than resting levels. All right? Even more inhibitor being released, then you get an even bigger negative response. Even further. So the point is that a graded response could be either a positive or a negative response, but it is directly proportional to the strength of the stimulus. Okay? Now, Professor, what would the strength of stimulus have to be for it to get a negative response? What will the strength of the stimulus the stimulus have to be to get a negative response? It has to be a negative chemical transmitter released from a, a neuron that's going to affect the neuron we're interested in. There are excitatory neurotransmitters released from neurons and inhibitory neurotransmitters. An inhibitory neurotransmitter will cause this kind of response. The stronger or the more inhibitors release, then the more negative it becomes. Okay. 